Right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. Today is going to be a bit of a different video on a different topic rather than just the Duramax. Uh, we're going to be doing a bit of a vlog slash DIY on how to change your brake pads on the STI's Brembo's. So, me and the apprentice are going to do that today. So, let's get into it. All right, so we're off to a cracking start. The apprentice is already sleeping on the job. Yeah, mate, good job. <laughs> anyway, so I've already got the car jacked up. Uh, the brakes are already off. I spent a bit of time cleaning them because there was a fair bit of brake dust build up. So um, it's all ready to go. Uh, we're more just gonna go through two different ways to install the brake pads. So um, we'll have a bit of a look at how I've got them set up at the moment and we'll go from there. So before we put the brake pads in, um, I did clean the both calipers uh, with a, a toothbrush, some warm water and some detergent and a little spray bottle to clean them. So they were covered in brake dust and they sort of look a bit better now and I'm a bit more happy. So um, we'll put them on and then we'll start uh, putting the brake pads in. But you can see once I've cleaned them up inside of here, these look a whole lot better than what they did before. So. easiest way to do this um, if you want to take the calipers off is to just undo your brake line bolt um, behind your rotor and it gives you a bit more leverage to move the caliper around while you want to clean it so that's how I went about it uh, nice and easy took a little bit of time a bit of elbow grease and they've come up a lot better than they were so they're ready to go on now Alright, so with the Brembo's there's two ways that we can do this. Um, the first way is you leave the um, caliper on the rotor and you pull the brake pads out and you put them back in. The other way is pulling the caliper off and putting the brake pads into the caliper and then installing that back on. So we're going to do it both ways and see what it's like because I haven't really done it either way with the Brembo's before. Um, and we'll see how we go. So for the new brake pads we've got a set of these Hawk street pads. Um, on the car now, there's Project New pads. Uh, they weren't in stock at the moment, actually, the ones that I wanted. So I'm gonna give these Hawk pads a go and actually see what they're like. At the moment, the car's not really a daily, nor um, am I driving it a lot on the weekend just due to current COVID crap. Um, so I'm not too stressed on them being just normal sort of street pads at the moment. If we wanna upgrade them again in the future, we will, but for now, uh, <laughs> we're going to give these brake pads a go. The good thing about this sort of job is you really don't need a lot of tools to have a crack at it yourself either. So um, all you really need is a couple of sockets to remove the caliper, um, a little punch or an Allen key or something where you can remove the cotter pins and you're pretty good and a set of pliers. So uh, to do the job, it is pretty straightforward tools wise. We're getting uh, really far over here. Hudson is more worried about the ball than doing the job, so. All right, so firstly, we're gonna have a crack at installing the brake pads into the caliper and then bolt on that to the rotor and see how that goes. So let's give that a crack. All right, so what I've discovered while um, trying to do it the first way, which I um, just said, was that um, once I had the pistons out of the way and I tried to put one of the brake pads in, put the pin through and put the other through, um, it was really hard to do. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'll sit the caliper in its position over the rotor. I'm gonna put the brake pad in uh, similar to what I was gonna do for the second one and then put the other one in and I'll set it up from there. So let's just do that. Um, and see how that goes because I think that's probably going to be the easiest way to be honest uh, with these and it seems to be what, what a lot of people do so I think we'll give that a crack instead. Alright so first thing is we'll put our, one of our brake pads in get our second one and then we're going to slide uh, the pins through with your retaining clip. All right, 
So there's the first one through and we'll put the, the rear one through and we'll be right. All right, so we've got the second uh, pin that's got to go through the rear side of the Brembo. So start from the back and we'll come back through over the top of the retaining clip. Uh, when you do it, just make sure you push the retaining clip down so the pin can slide over. And then get over, across, through the other brake pad. Might have to wiggle it around a little bit just to get the alignment right. And it's through. So then all you gotta do is put your circle clip on on, the, on these sides and you're done. So it's pretty easy from there. So, so obviously before, uh, with this side, I wanted to try and put the brake pads in and then put the rotor on. Um, obviously you can do that. I just kind of found it a little bit tricky where I'm sitting um, trying to do that. So you could definitely do it because easy enough. I've got the rotor off here. You can get your brake pads in like I've got get it in position, over the top, bolt it on and away you go. So, but um, honestly, I think the best way that I've seen and I've just had a go at is to um, put your rotor in position, put your brake pads um, in and then put your pins and your retaining clip on and um, it's easy as that. And then you can bolt it up or you bolt it up beforehand. So um, what this does mean though is you can leave the caliper bolted on and just pull the pads out and put the pads straight back in. So it's an easy process if you don't want to clean the inside um, around your piston seals and all that sort of stuff. So there's a couple of different options of how you might go about it, but um, it's good to have a crack at all the ways and see what works best. Take three. So uh, just quickly, I want to talk about the retaining clips and the pins that go through your brake assembly, um, hold your pads in place. One thing you can do if these are covered in a lot of brake dust is get some uh, warm soapy water or a bit of hot water and like your car wash detergent. Give them a scrub with a toothbrush, get a steel wool pad uh, you got under the kitchen sink and give them a scrub. Same with these pins. Um, beforehand, mine looked a little bit like um, they were black instead of nice shiny silver. Um, I'll show you a photo right now uh, what they looked like. As you can see, they looked pretty crap, but now um, they're looking, as you can see, nice and clean. A um, bit hard to see, it's a bit out of focus, but they look a lot better. So, just something small if you want to clean them up and get them looking nice, something worth doing. So, let's get into doing this second one now and um, we'll be done for the day. So, let's get going. So that's uh, the second Brembo all finished up, brake pads installed, um, all bolted up. Um, I definitely think it's easier to um, either leave your, your caliper bolted to the rotor or unbolt it and do what I did and clean it all up. Uh, but definitely leaving it in position over the rotor, putting in your brake pads, installing your uh, retaining clip and the pins and then either bolting it back up or having it bolted up is one of the easiest ways to do this. It literally took maybe 15 minutes with me sort of just slowly doing it and filming at the same time so it's really not um, that hard so give it a go if you're thinking about it um, the Hawks pads fitted nice and easy um, so I'm keen to give those a go and I'll probably maybe do a little review on how I find them compared to the Project New pads um, so stay tuned for something like that so um, yeah alright guys so 
going to wrap up this video. Um, hope you've enjoyed this how-to uh, for installing the brake pads in the Brembo's on the STI. Um, there's going to be some more STI um, content coming very soon. I've got some parts sitting outside waiting, uh, ready to be put on display on this. Um, it's going to be real good uh, once I can do that. Uh, I've got a few things to finish first. This was one of the jobs and then a few other small bits which um, you'll hopefully see soon. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like this. Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. There's going to be heaps more stuff related to the STI and some more uh, four-wheel driving stuff uh, to do with like the engine swap with the patrol. Um, there's going to be plenty more stuff coming up over time. So hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, take it easy and we'll see you in the next one.